first day of the diet bet. It's actually started today and I had Taco Bell last night, so we're off to a great start. So for this diet bet, uh, for this exercise, I really wanna get back into running. And yeah, I say back into running, believe it or not, I was into running at one point. I actually ran a half marathon six years ago. Here's the proof. I got the bib right there, half marathon. Bib number, Justin, that's me. <laughs> By the way, you like this ticket board? I don't know, I just had so many ticket stubs and movie tickets that I just decided to put them on a board. And I have more here to add. Yes, I was into running at one point and decided to do a half marathon with a couple of my friends and uh, that went pretty good and we finished and I just looked back at my time that I finished and it was two hours and 42 minutes, which isn't terrible. I mean, it was like a 12 minute pace or whatever. But anyway, in order to get back into running, I'm gonna need a decent pair of shoes because take a look at the shoes I have here. Let me get them. These are my current shoes. Nike, I think they're called like downshifters or something. They got a hole right there. I mean, mainly the bottom. I mean, look at that. It's pretty bad. The inside, look, the soles all torn up. So, yeah, I'm gonna need some new shoes here. Because new shoes make you run faster. Yeah. <laughs> I wish that was the case. I wish they made shoes with like hidden springs in them or shoes with flubber on the bottom of them, if you know what flubber is. But anyway, I'm gonna go over to a local company to get a decent, proper pair of running shoes. I don't think I've ever had like a proper pair of running shoes that actually fit my feet in the way I run. Anyway, I just, you know, buy a pair of Nikes or something like everyone else does. Um, but there's this local company that um, will kind of analyze your feet, you know, measure it, and then have you walk on a treadmill, I think. At least that's what the website says. Uh, so we're going to go now, check it out, and hopefully get uh, some good shoes. All right, here we are. The Three Rivers Running Company. All right, about to go in here and get hooked up with some shoes. All right, guys, we got a new pair of shoes from the Three Rivers Running Company. I got a pair of Asics. If I can get it out. Here we go. Boom. These are it. Right here. Running shoes. Now I have to go running. Since I spent so much money on them, so yeah, they had me uh, run on a treadmill and they had like this, they had an iPad like at my feet and recorded in like slow motion so they could see how my feet were hitting the treadmill and how my style of running, I guess, is. And I guess um, it's pretty common that the ankles will like angle in into the body. Like it was weird. Like my ankles, my feet were like angled when I was hitting. And so... They hooked me up with a shoe that was more of a stability type shoe. Um, so they could kind of correct that a little bit. So, yeah. All right, at the grocery store now, the Kroger. I'll pick up some food for the week. Back home, groceries are put away, and now it's time to strap on these bad boys right here and go for a little run. You see, I didn't try to uh, play that run up much. I said little run. I don't. My goal is to at least go two miles, whether it be I don't know if I'm gonna be run the whole two miles or what, but uh, we're gonna go two miles, whatever it is, the fast as we can. That's the goal. I don't know, I don't know, I really don't have a plan. I'm just gonna go run, I don't know. Uh, new kicks, about to slip these on. I do like to listen to music while I run, so I got my headphones, gonna carry my phone with me. I also use a, uh, like a running app that kind of maps my route that I run and the pace that I'm keeping, like via GPS. So we're gonna do that to keep log of how many miles I run. At least two a day is the goal. 
So, and we'll just kind of work up from there, see how it goes. And um, yeah, let's do this thing. Oh man, all right. Three miles, no, two miles, geez. Uh, two miles, done and complete. Unfortunately, the app I was using the, uh, tracks the pace and the time and the distance like stopped at half a mile but I ran two miles because I know I know this one mile loop around my neighborhood so did that twice oh man I walked a lot of it honestly um, just because I don't know my breath I just haven't run for a while can't catch my breath and my legs are a little you know it's a lot carrying 260 pounds making trying to make that move fast <laughs> So, I imagine it'll get easier as time goes on if I keep doing it. Let me get a shower. A shower is a need and sweat is burning in my eyes. But it was worth it. It's a start. I got out there and did it. So, it's easy. It only took me probably half an hour at most. And then, you know, that's, that's it for the day. I'm just going to be... I did something. That's it. That's more than I, than I have. So, yeah. So before I end the vlog today and go to work, unfortunately, boo, um, I'm going to show you a quick little smoothie recipe that I like. It's good for uh, post-workouts, or at least I think so anyway. It's, it's a good smoothie. First ingredient here is a whole banana. Then I put in five or six strawberries. I think I'm going to do six this time around. I got some of this uh, vanilla protein powder here. It says vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, no added sugars. <laughs> so I mean, this has got to be good, right? Plant-based protein. I don't know really what the best protein powder is, but I got a couple scoops of vanilla protein powder. Uno, dos. Some OJ to actually have some liquid to it. I don't know how much I put like a cup and a half or so or the rest of this container. <laughs> then last but not least I had a few ice cubes. Not on the floor! This actually makes quite a bit so and that full banana will definitely fill you up. All right, and with that, that's going to be it for the vlog today. Thanks for watching. Give this a like if you'd like, and see you guys in the next one. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's great.